Oh my gosh, this feels so weird. Okay, I haven't filmed in probably, it feels like way longer, but I definitely haven't filmed in over like a month. The last video I posted was maybe like three weeks ago, but that was even like a week and a bit after I originally filmed it. So I haven't talked in front of this camera forever. I feel like since it's been such a long time since I filmed, I really want to just like ease my way back into it. I really just want to get ready and like talk to you guys and talk about what I've been doing this last little bit, where I've been. I've done some shopping in this last little bit. It was um, my birthday not too long ago, so I, you know, got some stuff. Let's get ready and let's just talk. I feel like I need a cuter background. This is just at my vanity right now, so uh, not that cute, but you know, it'll, it, it works. So it's, this is the last little bit of my Too Faced Hangover Primer. And I think this might be it. That's going in my used bin. I'll show you my little bin of products after this. But I've been collecting all my finished makeup products, hair products, skincare, stuff like that. I want to film um, products I've used up and like what I repurchase video. I know Kathleen Lights does them all the time. I really like watching them because you, you can see if someone likes it if they use the full thing. Um, and you can tell someone doesn't like it if they literally used it a couple times and then threw it out. So. Yeah. So last video. Last video was a haul. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jumping all over the place. So I went to Cuba at the end of March and then I went to Vegas. So I got way tanner, way more tan English. I don't know. And none of my foundations work for me anymore. None of them. So I went back to Sephora and got a new foundation and concealer. And I've been loving this. This is the NARS... Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade, oh god, Vanuatu? Why are their shades always so hard to pronounce? But I thought I would try it. Freaking expensive, I did not know that. But, um, I love this foundation and that concealer. I always heard that NARS Complexion products were bomb, but now that I actually finally tried this, their stuff, I'm addicted, I am. End of March, I went to Cuba. I went to Cuba with my boyfriend and his family. It was so much fun. And then I was back for about like 10, I think it was like 10 or 12 days or something like that. And then I went to Vegas for one of my friends I went to university with. It was her stay yet. And so that was so much fun. It felt like a true like Vegas trip. We went for like food and drinks. We went to the club both nights. We just went for the weekend and we went to Magic Mike and <laughs> like classic girls Vegas trip, right? Yeah. So I went to Vegas and by that point I was already like so dark from Cuba. I was like hiding underneath towels because I just feel like I get overcooked so fast. And yeah, anyways, I felt like a little overcooked rotisserie chicken. So I've just been, you know, working. Um, makeup season is starting up. So I did my first makeup gig for the season uh, a couple days ago. It was her trial for the summer. I have about six weddings booked this year. So it's going to be a lot busier than last year. So that's gonna be starting up. I'm gonna go back down casual for nursing just because I would have had to trade my whole life away. So um, let's, use, let's use this brush. Just because like normally makeup gigs are always on the weekends. So that's gonna be super busy. It's been just so busy lately. I've had no, I just, my motivation for YouTube just wasn't there. I was just busy with so much other stuff that it really took a seat on the back burner of my life. <laughs> and then the longer that you're out of it, the more, not stressed, but the more you're just like anxious to get back into it. And like, that's how I felt literally today. But, oh, can you guys see? Oh, I feel like the lighting might be a little off. This is all like warm lighting in my beauty room. Got the foundation from Sephora a couple days ago. And this is the Radiant Creamy by NARS. And this is in the shade Ginger. And that combo together looks so good. This shit blends out so nicely. Oh, I'm addicted. Since it's been 
so long since I filmed. It's just by habit. Every time I buy stuff, I like put it in a corner in my room because I'm like, I'm gonna do a YouTube video on it. And that's why I did. So that's the stuff I got from Sephora. Um, let's bake my face. But I did actually in order to Sephora uh, like a long time ago, like a month ago, I wanna say. And so I got this little kit. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Peach, and it was such a good deal. I think it was like, ooh, like four, 45 bucks or something, and you got like a setting spray, a primer, a full-sized uh, loose translucent powder, and a full-size Better Than Sex mascara. So I'm gonna use this powder to set my face. Ooh, this smells really nice. Ooh, yum. So I don't know about this powder for like flashback, but, ooh, ooh, that got in my mouth and that tastes like peaches. Even though I haven't been filming, I still have been going on my YouTube app and I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called YouTube Creator or something like that. And so like I always keep track of comments. I've still been replying back because which video was it? It's one of my hair dyeing video vlogs. And that one is my number one viewed on my channel, which is so random. I did not think that video was gonna go anywhere, but it's been doing super good. So I've been replying to people's comments on there and I hit, ooh, where, I can't remember how long ago, but pretty recent. I hit 15,000 gold, but no, I hit 1,500 subscribers um, maybe like a couple months ago. So, for my new subbies, hello, my name is Caroline, and I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, God. <coughs> ah! Ah, that powder plus seasonal allergy starting right now. Ugh. Um, next, I was actually at Winners a couple days ago, and look what I found. I got the Park Ave Princess by Tarte. It's their, like, bronzer highlighter, I don't know, palette? Oh, what a good find, and I got it for 30 bucks. So let's do What a good find. So recently I've been going through like <laughs> my purge phase again and like going through clothes and makeup and stuff like that and just clearing things out. I just, I don't like having lots of the same things. So I've been talking with like friends and family and stuff and like seeing be like, hey, you know, like who's interested in lightly used, used makeup, right? Because I use it once and then I end up finding something I like better and then it just sits and it's just a waste. Someone else can use it. But makeup, especially high-end makeup, is so damn expensive. So, I mean, I might as well get rid of it, right? But so I'm thinking I will definitely be loving this one. So I think I'm going to try getting rid of some of my other contour palette what else do i got in here and then i picked up my birth since it was my birthday blah, 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 blah. since it was my birthday month uh i picked the glam glow moisturizer and a clearing treatment which this was a really good birthday perk Ooh, and then when i was in vegas i got a pair of the Ardell make mint lashes and they were so cool. This is the full strip one and All the girls ended up buying a bunch of the lashes, too So I went and got a second pair and then I just picked up another pair of lashes This is the faux mink wispies and these look gorgeous and they were gosh, I think like six bucks um, Oh At Mac because I'm part of the what is it called Mac select they also do birthday things but they give you a full-size MAC Prep and Prime, which I chose Coconut, which that is like a, a bomb-ass deal. Like, how much are these originally? Like 30 bucks? Oh. Ooh, that smells delicious. Okay, that was really weird, but my camera just died. The last time I did a Q&A was maybe like a year ago, so maybe I should do a Q&A again. Um, but I mean, I don't really use Twitter. I use Instagram quite a bit, but I'm just, I don't know how else I can get questions. Maybe if you guys want to do another Q&A, maybe put down your questions in the comment section below. I'm just trying to think. I'm just going through my BoxyCharm for this month and just seeing if I want to use anything from there. Lipstick. Maybe I'll use the eyebrow gel. 
This is the, the Brow Gal. Ooh, it's a tinted gel with micro scratchers. So let's use that. I want to do another Q&A. So comment down questions down below. I think that would be... Fuck, I, fr I fridged up already. But yeah, I want to do another Q&A. I think that would be fun. Uh, this brow gel is meh. It's not very... It doesn't hold it. The brush is really nice because it's super, super tiny. Um, and it really gets in there. But... It doesn't really hold any of the brow hairs where I want them to be. Okay, I give up. I don't like this. But I will continue to use it. Mm, let's do some. Ooh, one thing I want to talk to you guys about. So I had a company that contacted me called Big Bang Beauty. And they asked me to if I wanted to pick out some products. And then, you know, make a video about it and stuff like that featuring them. So I was like, you know what? Like, sure, I'll try it out. And the site was almost like Zoffel, Romway. You know how things are always on sale? Like, or they're always doing deals. They're always doing discounts, stuff like that. But it was like that for makeup. So I picked out a few products. Um, I picked out a mascara, an eyeliner, and a lipstick. Um, I tested them out actually quite a bit so far because I wasn't sure if I wanted to make a separate video or just something like this, like a little get ready. The lipstick I got in the color Catherine, I believe. Um, I do not like this one. It's too moussey and very, very drying. And I've tried them over top of moisturizer, like a lip chap, a gloss. Like it just, I don't know. I did not like this one to be honest. The, it smells delicious. Oh, it smells like candy. <laughs> so that's the plus side of this. Smells like candy, but I did not like the formula of it. Mascara, oh my God, I love it. So first I tried out the lipstick and then the liner and the liner was like, eh, until I tried it a few times. And I think you just needed to get, use it enough times to get the ink to the tip, if that makes sense. And then, so I tried the mascara last and I'm like, okay, hey, this better be good. And I loved it. This is the Beauty Big Bang Volumizing Mascara. And okay, so this is before. So that's nothing on it yet. I just did one stroke there. And this one I really like. Like, it definitely adds volume, definitely adds some length. But what I like about this mascara is that it's not clumpy. For me, like, I mean... I don't really like clumpy mascaras, but this one is pretty good. So that is the mascara. So I really liked it. Like it's not too crazy, but for one coat, like that did a really good job. And I've worn this mascara um, a bunch of times already and it's not flaky it's not waterproof so it does come off easily with just some makeup wipes and makeup remover eh, that's good enough i don't like wearing too much mascara see like that i really like this mascara okay so while this mascara is drying i'm just gonna change my camera battery okay i changed my camera battery hopefully the angle's not too far off Oh my god, this battery's dead too, frig. So this is the Big Bang, I think it's just their only liner, but it is a felt tip liner. So I mean, quite easy to use for like beginners. See, easy to use. The first time I used it, I will say that I didn't have a good first impression because I was like, this, this is not even dark. But like I said, I think you had to use it enough times to get the product to your felt tip. Yeah, so like I said, the first time I used it, not a good first impression. I didn't think it was as black as it could have been. Um, but after using it now like a couple times, I like it a lot better. It's not as black as some of my liners do, but it's so easy to use with this felt tip. And normally I'm not a big fan of tip liners. I just find them too pointy. I did not like the Kat Von D tattoo liner i have a little little guy of it but i ended up giving my other one to one of my friends because i felt it was too pointy and it like stabbed my eye but this is a very soft felt tip so easy to use but it gets the job done so yeah so these are the products that i got sent to me by beauty big bang thank you for sending them to me i love the liner and the mascara not a big fan of the liquid lipstick but 
hey, you know, two out of the three. Good. Um, I can't remember if they gave me a code. I will put it on the screen and down below. So I really wanted to show you guys some other things that I've gotten throughout the last month or so. So I will go show you guys that. So this is what I was talking about before about the used about the used products. This is my bundle of products. So if you guys want to see a video of products I've used up and what I repurchase, stuff like that, comment down below, but I think I'm gonna do it anyways, so just let me know. Oh yeah, I put in another order to The Ordinary. I only got a couple things that I wanted before, but they were all sold out. So I picked up the Glycolic Acid Toner. And that I really have liked so far as soon as I put it on. Well, on like more acne spots, you can like feel it sting. So I'm like, ooh, you're doing your job. 100% organic cold pressed rose hip oil, which I've been loving that. I do have another rose hip oil, but comparing the two, um, that one is just so much better. It's way less greasy and oily as the other one because this one is 100%, so it probably doesn't have like other added oils and other ingredients into it. And I was like $6 away from free shipping, so I picked up the Ordinary Coverage Foundation, High Coverage Foundation in 2.1Y. This was like, what was it? Like under $7? So I was like, heck yeah, I'll try out a new foundation, so. I got this guy and I think it was actually a really good color match. Oh, I want to show you guys what I got. So I have a couple weddings this summer. So I went to Dynamite and I picked up this jumpsuit, jumpsuit? I think it's, I think these are called jumpsuits where this is like the spaghetti part and then there are pants. So I could definitely be dancing in these. This actually fits me so good. It fits me perfectly in the length. And then I got these pants. They look like Aritzia dupes, I wanna say. They're a really nice, flowy, soft material with some really cute details to make it look a little bit more like fancier. <laughs> they look like fancy, uh, like sweatpants. And then the bottoms have these cool little cuffs. And then I actually, for a birthday present to myself, I got myself a new pair of clogs. They're not here, I will show you those. But for work, I wear clogs to work. And anyone who is in healthcare or who's on their feet all the time, I definitely recommend these. Some people think that they look too heavy or too clunky, but I love them. They honestly have saved my, like, my knee, my back issues. Like, growing up, I had really, like, I had really bad hips and my back would always hurt. So, I got orthotics that I never wore because I was a shitty little kid. But um, anyways, these shoes have saved my life, especially being on my feet all the time. And look at these. Aren't these just wicked? Like they're almost like that oil spill where they're dark, but then in some lights they look purple, blue, like they have some like orange, yellow tinges. Like they're so cool. So I got those for myself. They're definitely expensive, but I mean, you should always invest into a good pair of shoes or, you know, something that you're gonna be wearing all the time, invest in it. Cause you're gonna be, Get your money's worth, for sure. <sighs> okay, well, I think that's everything for this vlog slash whatever this video was today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the get ready with me. I just really wanted to talk to you guys about like where I've been, um, what I've been up to, show you guys what I've bought the last little bit. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you guys want that products that I've used up and what I repurchased video, as well as you guys want another Q&A. If you guys want another Q&A, put your questions down below. And yeah, so if you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.